Good evening. An unusual sight on a beach in East Souk has become a rare and valuable specimen for marine biologists. The carcass of a nine-meter-long gray whale that washed ashore is also proving to be quite a mystery as well. It is still not clear tonight why the whale became beached or what killed it. But among the curious crowds today was a prominent marine biologist who was trying to answer all of the questions. A news reporter Astor Brownschmidt has the story. What does his teeth look like? It does look like a carpet. Marine Biology 101 on the beaches of East Souk Park. A beached gray whale attracts dozens of people. I think this would be a once in a lifetime chance. Even for this marine biologist, it's awesome. They, even as juveniles, are a very impressive sight when you get to see the whole animal out of the water. Experts say this nine meter long whale was just a baby when it died, but how it died is still a mystery. Without necropsy, it's impossible to say how the animal died. But there are clues on the carcass. These parallel scars that you can see, and there's another series over there, um, would lead me to question whether it was killer whales. Because of their tooth structure, they do leave parallel scars. I have seen it on other animals. Orcas have been spotted hunting gray whales off the BC coast. This video was captured off of Cape Scott. Oh, this is incredible. Look at that. There are many unanswered questions about the beached gray whale, and while Hall is at the shore, spectators take the opportunity to ask her expert opinion. And of course, any chance we have to get more information, we're all over it. <laughs> Hall admits that because of the way the whale came ashore, it's hard to know if it was healthy before it died, and if it is the same gray whale that was spotted off Trial Island just days ago. It's possible this is the same one, but we would need to use um, the standard photo identification techniques that we use to ID gray whales which includes looking at the tail. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans will now decide whether to remove the whale from the beach, but scavengers will likely get to it first. In the meantime, it's an amazing sight, seldom seen on such an accessible beach. In East Souk, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.